Hey guys, it's Christmas story time with Complete Street Performance. Today, I have a story that nothing worked out between me or the customer. So this is the story on how you can be a bad customer. Let's start at the beginning. You decide that, hey, it's Christmas time, I'm gonna buy a present. You pull up to your fancy computer, you decide to load the one place that you know is gonna have quality products, eBay. And you decide, you know what? I need this intake. So you get your fancy part up here, your Bear Ram 4G Air Grabber Cold Air Intake for a 2009 plus Dodge Ram 5.7 liter and 6.4 liter Hemi. Look at that. Adds lots of torque, it's a mile per gallon, and it's at a good price. $359.95 with free shipping! Woo! And uh, so you order this bad boy up. Now, as you sit by your fancy Christmas tree waiting for the package to deliver itself, you look for tracking and you ask for a tracking update. So what happens? The vendor, Complete Street Performance, gets you a tracking update. We get you tracking. So as a shop, I will take some fault because the, the package did not ship out immediately. It was processed and then uh, shipped by the manufacturer directly and unfortunately, uh, we didn't have tracking updates, but we did reach out and got the tracking updates for the customer, and this is the conversation that ensued. I see your response time is just as fast as your shipping. I ordered three items that day. All will be delivered by end of day, dot, dot. Your item has not even been sent. When will it be shipped? Question mark, question mark, question mark. The order was processed Friday and we are hoping to have tracking from Veriram today. I have asked them again for tracking. I am still in the process of dealing with a mess of a sale from a item being shipped from a third party. Would I be better off to cancel this sale? Question mark, hello. The item shipped and tracking should be active this evening. It is 1Z via UPS.com. We also put this in eBay an hour or two ago. I understand you issues with another buyer, but this is the second business day after we placed the order. We want to make you happy, but there was not an unreasonable delay or something. Tracking numbers mean nothing. I have a month old tracking number on an item that I never shipped. Point is, if it's was coming right from Veriram, I could have order from a cheaper vendor! Exclamation point! Again, it is against eBay's policies to sell third-party items, and this led me to believe it would be shipped directly from you, and I would receive it sooner than my other option! Exclamation point! If this was not the case, I would have rather paid less for it and got it at the same time. So what would you like to do? I really don't like the fact that I overpaid for this because you disregard eBay policies. Will you match the price in which <laughs> I could have ordered this item for? Question mark. Hello, the tracking is active. I went to UPS's site and shipping from both Veriram's warehouse in Houston and our shop in Texas is three business days. There is no difference in delivery time. Also, I researched and see no rules against using third-party fulfillment on eBay. Either way, in this case, you are getting a part directly from the manufacturer Factory Fresh. I do, I do not see how you are negatively impacted in any way by that compared to had it shipped from our warehouse, which technically would be a third-party Devera Ram. Well, if you read any of my emails, period, I had an option to buy this item cheaper, but chose not to, as they stated it was supplied by a third party. If you like, I can contact eBay about the concern, and they will contact you about the rules on third party vendors. 
I know this is due to a prior issue with a sale shipped by third party. eBay is the one who told me it is against their policy. Either way, I will stay yet one more time. I could have purchased this item cheaper, but did not not due to it being shipped via third party. Had I known you did the same, I would not have bought the item from you. It's as simple as, are you willing to match the price of what I could have bought it for? A difference of $30, or am I better off contacting eBay to cancel the sale? Question mark. Hello, I have intercepted the package and canceled slash refunded the order as requested. It's as simple as, are you willing to match the price of what I could have bought it for, a difference of $30, or am I better off contacting eBay to cancel the sale? I mean, that puts me in the position of either I pay $30, you know, for a part that's on its way already, or should we cancel the sale? So we chose to cancel the sale. That was not my request. I asked if you would match the price of what I could have got the item for question mark, question mark, question mark. I asked this many times without response to that direct question. I wanted to ensure fastest shipping, which <laughs> is why I bought it from you in the first place, but didn't know it was order via third party when I did so. This does not help my situation. Just add it to the frustrations, exclamation point, exclamation point. So at this point as a customer, I realize that the shop has called my bluff. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to reach out to eBay and I'm gonna have them continue this. So what's eBay gonna do? They're gonna reach out to the shop. Your buyer has reached out to us regarding their recent order of the Vera Ram. We appreciate the communication between you and the buyer. Mexico had concerns about late delivery. Thank you for alleviating their concerns by uploading tracking that shows the item was due to be delivered by the 19th. The buyer is still hoping to receive this item and would like to continue with the order. If you are interested in moving forward with the order, please contact the buyer. Thank you for your attention and being part of our community. Sincerely, eBay. So we're back to story time and I have to paraphrase this part because uh, the customer called up uh, our online store because he found out, well, he found us actually through eBay then that uh, he found our online store, called our number, uh, found out that uh, we weren't willing to move forward on it now that we've, can't, we've already rerouted the shipment once and you know, that costs us money. And then he wouldn't get off the phone with uh, my, my employee until he talked to me. He wanted to speak to the owner. Now, I've already been watching this and I already like made up my mind when you give me an ultimatum that says, I need money back or I'm canceling the order, that it's better if I just cancel the order. And that's what we did. And so I was already on that side that, hey, you, this is what it was. You, you gambled and you lost, apparently. So we're on the phone and I'm trying to be nice. Actually, I was being nice. I was saying, there's not, there's nothing I can do to help you out. I mean, right now, I, I know you want your package on time, but this has to get back to the manufacturer and then it's, and then it can ship out again. And I'm not going to eat the cost of like, you know, this just order from somewhere else because we can't really help you at this point. It's going to cost you more and it's going to take longer. Customer did not like that answer. In fact, he was very upset about that answer, kept on talking about how, you know, Summit and Jigs or whatever would have it cheaper. And it's like, just order it from there. Stop like, stop it. You already like, your package was on the way and you were trying to get money out of us for shipping your package. I mean, come on. So, you know, at, at some point I was just like, at some point after he decided to start calling me a dick and stuff like that, I decided to be like, hey, you know what? You're just not getting your package. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. And there's nobody else you can talk to because I'm the top. There's nobody above me. So nobody's going to make it right for you. So obviously, as a customer that has made the wrong decision and doesn't want any accountability for such things, I would be really angry. But, you know, what am I going to do? I'm going to post a bad review on Google and I'm going to message the guy because that I got a better deal somewhere else. Like he said, go somewhere else. So here's the message. $325 from Summit. We'll see it in two to three days. 
just for your information, even if you would have had to take a small hit on one item to win over a customer, it could produce lots of cash flow moving forward as I run a shop and buy lots of parts, exclamation point. Always good to find out right away what kind of place I'm dealing with though, exclamation point. Happy holidays, exclamation point. If you're gonna be the type of customer that decides to call people a dick for your own mistakes, I'm sorry, I don't want you as a customer. In fact, I don't want to ever like sell you a part again. You know, I, I, I value my customers a lot, a heck of a lot. And you know, we don't always see eye to eye because this is a racing industry and everybody has a different opinion on things. But I've never come across a customer who has literally shot themselves on the foot by giving an ultimatum, had their bluff called, and then suddenly it's my fault. Well, not in, basically not until now, but here we are You've done it, you've earned the award of, I tried to be a customer, but failed. You are number one at that. You, sir, you, sir, have done it. You are number one at something. You have ordered a part and have been denied the part because you were a tool. And I wish you a luck, and I'm happy that you're getting your part on time, and I'm so thankful that it's not for me. So guys, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that the customer is not necessarily always right. But, you know, one of the things I want to make clear is that 99% of my customers are awesome. They're wonderful, wonderful people. And this particular guy is the epitome of a bad customer. There is such a thing. And don't be that person. If you're going to order something and it's shipped, don't ask for, like, money back. I mean, I'm like, I'm a small business. Like, maybe Walmart has that policy and stuff like that. But, like, you know, a small business usually doesn't have that. And a lot of times we don't have that, like, that, um, a profit margin to be able to do something like that. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like, some people are just stupid. And I, I feel really bad that, you know... You know that that you know we kind of got caught up in that you know both me and the customer that uh, you know his expectation was that he could like shake me down after things have shipped and uh, I said no and it seemed to piss him off so I don't know I don't know what to do there but if you guys have any uh, idea what I should do at this point you know feel free to write it in the comments below but well and if you guys you know feel like you want to support the cause and have been to my shop and have experience with me please write a review if it's not if it's not going to be a five star review please contact me first so i can figure out how we can get you there and uh, uh, if you would like to support us in uh, other ways uh, and are not local hit up cspracing.com we have a wonderful online store. While we're not Summit and Jigs and stuff like that, we do have a nice selection of inventory and a nice selection of products that you can order at good prices. So I hope that uh, if anything you take away from this, uh, that you know every once in a while you see one-star reviews on you know many different companies' websites, and it's not necessarily the company. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me for story time. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great night. Adios.